So I have all these things to do. I feel overwhelmed and a little bit stressed. Um, I have clarity on what I need to do and not what I need to do, but what I want to do. Um, I'm building two different businesses online and responding to a lot of like online content like a lot of, and I'm getting my PhD, I'm doing a lot of these things that require me to be online and to be on the computer and to be on my phone. And I just feel overstimulated um, neurologically, just very overstimulated right now. And I'm doing things from home right now. So I'm very blessed to be able to have space and time to take a break for myself. I'm so grateful and thanking God so much that I, I'm capable of doing this right now and that I have this opportunity where I can work from home and that I can um, kind of make my own schedule. But this video is specifically about like holistic ways to deal with life, like this modern life. Because I don't know if you saw my channel update, I'll have the link below for that video. Um, channel update about every day I'm gonna post a video specifically about something along the lines of increasing your level of consciousness, how to just live a healthier, holistic life, how to be healthier, how to stretch, uh, like what healthy foods to eat, um, how to deal, th deal with things in like relationship dynamics, and uh, trash recycling and composting, which I haven't made a video about trash in the, some time now, and I need to. Um, I'll, That'll be my next one. <laughs> Anyways, I felt overwhelmed. So I'm taking a walk. I have a car. Um, I could drive to the store, but I live downtown where I live. And there is a place where I need to go. So I'm walking there. <laughs> it's walkable. It's like about uh, 10 or 15 minutes to get there. So I'm just taking a walk. So when you're experiencing like the pressure or the, um, you know, just like overstimulation from being on your phone, the notifications, the emails, the text messages, um, all these things that you have to do, especially if you work online or on a computer, which is most people nowadays, most people do things online. Most people are on social media. There's billions of social media accounts. If you look at if like, okay, for example, when I'm in New York City, I'm on the subway, everyone's on their phone. I remember looking over, I saw this little lady, she looked like she was in her 90s and she was scrolling on Instagram. I was like, damn, granny. <laughs> so everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people are addicted to this instant dopamine hit that technology gives us, but it overstimulates us. And it like makes us crazy and it makes us so stressed and, um, it's okay, but you know, there's another way. And a way is to resist the itch, I wanna say. Resist that urge to pick up your phone and like just put your phone down. I know it's like so stimulating, but there needs to be like times where you give yourself a break and maybe you can't give yourself a break. There's something on my face. I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> anyways. There's times when you get overstimulated from being on the computer or being on the phone where you just need to close your computer or step away from your computer um, and turn your phone down. I know I'm on my phone right now recording this, um, but I'm not looking at the notifications. And there is this thing with addiction and not just for drugs and alcohol, but there's addiction to technology to video games to tv to sex to to porn to all these things that give us that release um because they activate our dopamine they activate a dopamine release which is like exciting it's pleasurable to us um but we get overstimulated and then we get neurotic and then we get crazy we may i'm naturally crazy but good crazy you know like fun <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm taking a break. I'm taking a walk after this. Um, I feel like listening to some um, videos about by Dr. Jewel Bookroom 
uh, Pokram, I think you, as you say her last name. Um, but also, there's a lot of times recently where I feel like listening to nothing. Like, I don't even feel like being stimulated by any kind of uh, technological noise, any kind of music. Um, just to give my brain a break. It's like we have to detox ourselves from our technology at times. And it's having a healthy relationship with technology, which is an aspect of having or living a holistic life, living a healthy lifestyle. If you want to be healthy, if you truly want to feel good, you have to improve your relationships with not only human beings, um, number one, you have to improve your relationship with yourself, um, but a huge thing is you have to improve your relationship with technology. And another thing that I say is we have to improve our relationship with trash and materialistic objects and the way that we handle our consumerism habits and stuff. That's my spiel. I'm always about like multiple different things. You gotta have healthy things with everything, but um, working on your relationship with technology is crucial because it is neurological. We have these neurologic responses to our phone and to computers. Like I literally can feel in my body when I get a notification and it's not like I'm connected to my phone um, but maybe telepathically I am, which is probably true. But my nervous system is, is like, you know what? That is something that I used to be able to detect. I don't detect it that much anymore because I have improved my relationship with technology, but there still are some days where I am like overly like anxious about my phone. Like gotta check my phone, gotta check these notifications, gotta check to see someone sent me a message. I gotta reply to this client, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so it's not like perfect every single day where you have this like disconnect or detachment from your phone or your, from your computer and stuff. But it's slowly taking it over time where you just detach from your phone, detach from your computer, detach from all these like modern day responsibilities that we have and that we're supposed to do to, to live a good life. And it's like... That's not what creates a good life. What creates a good life is fulfilling our soul's purpose, the purpose that God gave us to, to live out. And a step, again, a step to a healthy life, a healthy lifestyle, a holistic lifestyle, is improving your relationship with technology. Put your phone down, turn your computer off, close your computer resist that urge to look at your notifications all the time do it when you can focus on your internal feelings turn to inward yourself and see what you're feeling what what emotions what sensations am i feeling what thoughts am i thinking right now look inside of yourself and try to to pray to God or to pray to your higher power. Well, that's the term that I use. But whatever power is for you, that is um, your higher power. <laughs> use that time to develop a deeper connection with your higher power. Um, there's so many different ways. I'm getting into traffic, by traffic, but I'm gonna just finish this video on the sidewalk before I continue to walk there's different ways to improve your relationship with technology but the first one is awareness and recognizing that you may be addicted to your phone and it's okay a lot of people are a lot of people struggle with that because of the demands that we have in society right now so it's consciously taking the time to be present with your phone but to be present more often without your phone and without technology and to be intentional about what you're doing in that moment and not constantly needing your phone. It's easier said than done at first, but when you intentionally take the steps to putting your phone down and resisting the urge to constantly check your phone and constantly be on your phone, it's possible. Maybe they saying, someone saying hooray or hello. Um, Take a breath, go walk outside, go in the sun, go into nature. And I know in this modern world, it's 
little bit difficult because of the way that society and communities are constructed now. And it's okay. Um, but if you want to cure your depression, if you want to live less anxious, live less stressful, you have to improve your relationship with technology. Um, that's all I'm going to have to say right now. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please comment with questions. Um, I didn't cover everything because there's so much that can be said about this topic, about our relationship with technology. Um, but please subscribe. Please like again. And let me know how you're doing. Uh, anyways, till next time. Bye.